Do we have the uh, legendary, uh, world famous uh, Mr. Donald Rosner of the great Bagel Boss uh, chain? I know you guys do a tremendous job with all your locations from Murray Hill to Kew Gardens and Hicksville, Plainview, anywhere else. Hewlett, Hewlett um, anybody, anywhere else I'm missing? I'm sure there's like 50 other locations at this point I'm missing. But uh, we're honored to have you on here on the Sports Report with Tom and Rob. Wow, what an introduction. Can't be that. <laughs> well, you know what? You, you've done about a thousand of these different interviews. So I wanted to be a little little different, and I didn't want to give you the, you know, get the obligatory uh, introduction here for you. But um, I wanted to have you on here for our audience here. And, you know, I know you've done so much, you know, for the Islanders and, you know, just, you know, you know, your support of the team. And uh, I, I think we do a lot on the show for Islanders. And I have my friend uh, Brandon Gaines on here and my co-host, multi-sport PSAL champion, Rob Hines. I know, you know, we were talking about uh, the Barzago last week. And uh, I got to ask this question. Are you still getting uh, tons of requests for for the boys angle these days? <laughs> Believe it or not, I, I still do. Um, I wouldn't say a ton, but a lot of people on Twitter, they, they message me and ask if they can come pick them up or if I can drop them off, and, and I do it. it it's so much fun. What's it been like in terms of, you know, you did the MSG commercials and, and, you know, I'm sure you get recognized a lot. You know, we had Isles Girl, you know, Kim Moisa last week. And, you know, you know, she's another person that, uh, you know, if you're an Islanders fan. You almost can't go anywhere with, without, you know, you know, recognizing her and seeing her, whether it's on Twitter or on her own Periscope and her YouTube videos. And what's that been like for you? I mean, do a lot of people, you know, stop and recognize you in the street? I know, I know you work at a Murray Hill in Manhattan. And I know you, you know, back home in Long Island, I'm sure you get a little bit more recognition. But uh, what's that been like? Do a lot of people stop you in the street and such? Yeah, um, it's funny because just yesterday I was in a deli getting a sandwich for myself because we don't have cold cuts. <laughs> and um, a guy was like, I know you. And, you know, we just went into it. And it's been happening quite a bit. And it's been so much fun. It's been actually an honor for me to be able to be involved with the Islanders because. I just love the team so much. I've been a fan my entire life. And you know, I was born in 81, so I didn't get to see all the cups when, when it was happening. But, you know, it, it's like in my blood. And just being able to, like, meet up with other fans, and it's like your best friends right off the bat, just, you know, because you could relate to the team and all that stuff. And, it, yeah, it's been absolutely awesome. What I find ironic is that the Islanders debuted in 72, and correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you know, Bagel Boss started by by your family in 1975, if I'm not mistaken. So it's sort of uh, parallels. You know, the Islanders were, were introduced, uh, you know, you know, to the world here on Long Island, and and you know the family business started just right after that. So it sort of uh, coincides in a lot of ways. Do you feel any correlation with that? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Sure. So it's funny because years ago, my uncle is a huge Islander fan, also, and. Because he was a fan, he went and spoke to the Islanders ownership back in, I guess it was like the late 80s, and he was doing business with the Islanders as well, and um, he got a bunch of memorabilia from the Islanders while they were doing business at the time, and when they changed ownership, that's when we stopped doing business with them, or my, when my uncle did, and um, I never really thought about doing that, and now that I have my own store and everything, now I've been trying to get into it and this is the first year where I really got to you know do business with the team and stuff and it's just been awesome because I got some perks out of it you know they gave me tickets and stuff and I got to meet people and you know like just that alone like it you almost get a little or I almost get a little starstruck when <laughs> I talk to these people because I've been watching them on TV and following them my whole life and I, I the team has always been such a part of my life so for them to know who I am now a little bit it, it, is awesome. How has business has business been helped a lot by the team? I know you know you've been especially the last you know two years or so. You you've been you know almost like right in in in, in the forefront of pretty much all the you know the Islander you know news and obviously you know with the whole John Tavares thing and then the Barzagel and. You know, I know you did a lot of stuff on NHL Network. You did a number of spots last year and this past year. I know you've done some stuff on, you know, Canadian radio, you know, about, uh, you know, all the, you know, the charity stuff you were doing with the Tavares jerseys. But, um, you know, has biz as the team, you know, like with your being so identified, that has that only helped the business, you know, in, in a lot of ways as well? A hundred percent. Just, and for me, it, I try to take the business end out of it. Like if I've gotten a bunch of calls, or, you know, uh, messages 
messages on Twitter from other Islander fans that had specific needs. They want certain things. And, like, I almost, I, I don't even charge these people because, like, <laughs> say this you know let me let me put this out there if you're gonna do something again with, with Anders Lee or, or Robin Leonard you know they're free agents think about before you do it because you know we did Tavares last year and John, Johnny walked but uh no uh, you know it was it was uh you know what it was a tremendous thing that you did and I, I think more about the charity it only speaks on behalf of you know not only you but your family and you know what what you, your commitment has been you know to Long Island and obviously to Queens and Manhattan and you serve them well and it's about you know serving the people and you know and I think that you know your family's business has done that you know very well and you know for a couple of minutes I know we have a couple of minutes with you here we have Donald Rosny here of the legendary you know Bagel Boss Bagels the best bagels in all I think of the world I think anywhere you know Bagel Boss it has to be your one-stop shop for all of your bagels. Uh, has the Barzagel been the most popular, you know, item that in, in your stores? Has it replaced, you know, the traditional, you know, plain bagel or the cinnamon raisin or the everything bagel? Or, you know, I'm sure you get this question a lot, but uh, how is the Barzagel re- ranked in terms of popularity now these days? Yeah, so I've, I've probably made, if I had to venture a guess of how many Barzagel pieces I've made, it's like, I've made over a thousand of them, and if you have any idea how hard it is to make things like that, <laughs> like that, it, it's really difficult because number one, every all those all, all the colors are different doughs, so you have to take those doughs and combine them, and then you got to form it into a number, and it has to sit like that in a refrigerator overnight in order for it to hold that form, and then you got to bake it, and before you bake it, you have to put it into a pot of boiling water. And you still need it to hold that form, you know, like, because it's their numbers. And it, it's very tricky. So, yeah, I'm not saying I'm complaining about <laughs> you know, I'll make a thousand more in a heartbeat. But, yeah, it, they, they've been pretty popular. I've had a lot of help with people on Twitter trying, you know, trying to blow it up and make it popular. And it's, it's been, I can't complain at all. It's been really, really, really fun and really cool. And, uh, you know, a few, on a, on, a, on a lighter note, you know, who are some of your favorite players on the, on the team? I, I know how much you, you love JT, but, uh, you know, has, has Barzell now become your favorite player? Because obviously you guys have the Barzell. Has that uh, kind of changed uh, your, your flavor in terms of who you like on the Islanders now? Okay, so JT was my favorite hockey player, hands down. I still, I can't say I hate the guy, I don't. I, I'm still disappointed and I'm heartbroken that he's not here. But I, for the same reasons that I loved him when he was here, I, I still love him as a hockey player. He's one of the best in the game. That being said, the way Barzell burst onto the scene and kind of just took the team on his back, and, like, if, if we didn't have Barzell to do that, I don't even know how I would have felt. It would have been awful. But Barzell definitely took some of the pain away, and he's definitely my favorite Islander for sure. Um, I also love Casey Sadiqis. I mean, that guy just brings it every single game. And he's just getting better and better every year. And that he's a fourth-line player, and I don't think he is a fourth-line player. And, um, th- I mean, I, there's not a guy in the team that I don't like. Um, everyone's talking about maybe Nick Letty being traded. I happen to really like Nick Letty. And, and uh, Andrew Lee, our captain, he'll be here. I have no faith, uh, no doubt about it. I have full faith that he will be here. 
And um, that's the reason that I haven't made any other bagels for anybody else, because I'm afraid it'll be the same outcome. <laughs> well, that, that's why I asked the question. I'm like, please don't please do not do that if we lose so, some of these guys, especially Leonard or Lee, because they've meant so much to us. And, you know, Anders Lee has done so much, you know, for Long Island and, and you know, in, in the tri-state area for all he's done with, you know, his charity, Cancer in the Can. And, you know, he's just, you know, his... Yeah, how he's taken, you know, to be the identity of this team after JT left, uh, it would definitely be a, a blow in in that sense. Uh, any anything else for you that you know you you want to share, you know, about you know what what the team means to you? I, I know you, our, our time is you know very limited with you, and I know you, you're a busy guy. And you know, I also want to, uh, on behalf of you know my staff and and everybody else here on the show, and Brandon and Rob and everybody else, we also want to congratulate you on the, on the recent birth of your of your child. It's a tremendous uh, thing, and uh, you're a busy guy, man. And I, 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 you're in a band also, if I'm not mistaken. So you do you do a lot. I do a lot, and yes, we did just have a beautiful baby daughter. Uh, her name is Scarlett, and she's definitely going to be an Islander fan, just like my first daughter, Lena, is. Um, and I'm totally excited about next year. I think this year was the first year that we finally are moving forward, you know, get away from the pain years that we've had so many of, and um, I'm completely excited to see what Lou's going to do. I think that we have the best GM and the best coach in the game, hands down. I couldn't feel more comfortable with those guys, you know, leading the way. And, um, you know, I would love to see them throw an offer sheet at Mitch Marner or bring in somebody like Big. And But if that doesn't happen, I'm not going to be upset. I, I have full faith in the team, and I'm totally pumped about next season. Boy, I tell you what, you know, I, I'm ready to put you on as one of my analysts on the show. You, you, you hit everything right on, the, right on the, na- you know, the head on the nail. You're pretty much... Uh, you know what you're talking about. You know, all stuff that we've talked about here in the show, and I think uh, you know it's uh, we have a lot to talk about here on the Islanders, and we do that every single week. And uh, uh, you know, I want to you know thank you for all you know the great work that not only have you done, but your family. I, I know your father, your uncle, your, your cousins, and everybody who's you know served the people here in you know Long Island. And now, you know, what's the location that uh, you're working out of most these days with Bagel Boss? My store is in Murray Hill in New York City. Uh, my father's store is in Hewlett. My uncle's store is in Hicksville. My family owns the franchise, so we're all over the place. Um, but, yeah, I really appreciate the shout-outs and everything. Thank you so much for all the kind words. It's very nice. Thank no problem. And we'll catch you, you know, I'm sure. I hope uh, a lot of our listeners come into the store and, you know, that they, uh, uh, you know, make sure that they, you know, you know, patronize you and, you know, give any support that. <laughs> You know, we can uh, certainly, uh, you know, I think of Offside Tavern, I think of Gunway Bakery, but the best of them all is definitely Bagel Boss. So, uh, Mr. Rosner, it's been an honor to have you on. And uh, for anybody else here on the show, you have any anything you want to add and say hello to Mr. Rosner? Anything, uh, you know, for you, Brandon or Rob, you'd like to say to him? Um, I already tweet, I already uh, tagged you in this, but why don't we get some bagels for Mitch Marner while we're at it? <laughs> Seriously, no problem whatsoever. <laughs> uh, for you, for you, uh, my co-host uh, Rob Hind, anything you'd like to uh, add to uh, before Mr. Rosner uh, gets back to his uh, busy constituents? Uh, well, yeah, my my mother keeps telling me to go to the store and get a bagel. I live all the way in Jersey, so one of these days I'm gonna actually have to do that. Well, if I'm not mistaken, and you know, uh, you know, Donald, you you can maybe you know double you correct me on this. You guys actually ship out. I know you guys have you know constituents and customers as far as like Virginia, if I'm not mistaken. We do, and we have shipped bagels before. We we ship them all over this country. I've shipped bagels up to the NHL Network in Canada. I mean, like, so if you need something shipped. Just give me a call. Give us, give us, give it, well, give out your website here so, you know, our listeners here can, you know, check out the website and maybe order some bars bagels or order some bagels or whatever, you know, I know you guys also do black and white cookies, muffins, danishes, you do pretty much everything. I don't, I don't know what you guys don't do. So uh, please give out uh, your website anywhere else people can, can contact you, your Twitter handle as well, because I think that uh, these are stuff that, you know, people need to have here. Okay, so my Twitter handle is at Donald Rosner, R-O-S-N-E-R, and the Bagel Boss website is bagelboss.com, and you, whichever location you want to get to, you can get on from that website. You can get all the information and phone numbers, but, you know, just hit me up on Twitter, and if there's anything specific that you need, I'll point you in the right direction. 
Awesome. And uh, we'll definitely make sure we do that. And uh, Mr. Rosner, I want to thank you so much for all you, you do, not, o- not only for the Islanders, but, you know, your constituents and, and, and customers and, you know, serving the people is, is a very, you know, tough task to do in dealing with the public. And, you know, you do such a great job with it. And it's an honor to, to have you on. And I look forward to meeting you one of these days and uh, catching you at the Islander games or coming into the store. And uh, uh, thank you so much you know, for, for taking the time out and speaking with us here on the Sports Report with Tom and Rob, New York's number one sports podcast. Thank you guys so much for having me. The honor is all mine. And anytime you guys want to talk, I'm always available for you guys. Oh, listen, we might put you on every week. Listen, at this point, uh, <laughs> I might have you co-host the show, host the show instead of uh, myself. So, uh, uh, definitely, we'll definitely keep that in mind. But you know, we know you're a busy guy. Congratulations again on on, on your daughter and uh, you know thoughts with you, you know, your wonderful family. And uh, you know, we'll definitely talk to you soon. And I'll give you uh, I'll tweet at you uh, when I put post the show up here later this afternoon. All I right? love it. Thank you so much. Thanks you for having me. It. All right. And that's the uh, legendary Donald Rosner, whose family does a tremendous job uh, with all of the Bagel Boss locations throughout the tri-state area, mostly in Long Island. And now they're in Manhattan and Queens. And uh, we definitely thank him for uh, coming on. So uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm hungry right now. I'm, I'm ready to go to Bagel Boss right now. I'm ready-